Yo guys, welcome back to another Cold Wild the Angler video. In today's video, we're going to be getting out onto Japan and taking a look at the brand new legendary that dropped yesterday. I think it was um, Goto the Immortal. Is it, was it what's it called? Let's have a quick look at him. The first one that's dropped anyway, um, and it is the Crab Goto the Immortal, which is a massive giant crab, and we're going to be getting out onto Japan um, and go and try and catch this guy. But before we do start, just a quick update. Abby and I have had our baby girl, um, Harriet. Um, she's doing all well, but we're all at home now, so streams are going to be slow for the next couple of weeks but videos i'm gonna try and get a video out every couple of days if i can do but yeah we're gonna get out today and cover a little guy video on where and how to catch this guy if you do enjoy this kind of content on the angler consider subscribing to the channel general discord links in the description more importantly sit back and enjoy the rest of the video and i'll catch you all in stream next time Oops. right we'll start off by taking a look at goto the immortal the model of the crab looks crazy it looks like something you'd find at the bottom of the ocean oh i didn't even see them at the side of it like a bit a little bit of weed at the side of it there it looks like something you'd see under the water, like deep, deep sea fish, no? What's the, why is it so dark in here? There we go. Um, bloodworm, redworm, leeches, liver, minnow, hot dog, and its traits are... Um, effort traits. Bottom lurker, the deepest reaches. So yeah, yeah, I can imagine it would live, live at the bottom of the sea. So we're going to get out to the location, get this guy caught, and I'll show you the tactics I'm going to be using and the gear once we get out there, guys. By the look of it, there's always some guys out here fishing for these. Yeah, there is there's quite a few people out here fishing for him. Um, I'll show you the setup. We'll just pull up here now real quick. I don't want to get in his way. There we go. Let's just stop there. I'll show you the gear we're going to be using. So the setup I'm going to be using for this guy is the graduation feeder rod. The Nugaman Nuntu. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, real 22 pound fluorocarbon ledger size 7 hook and a blood worm. And I'm just going to cast out and see if we can get stuck into this guy super quickly. 106 foot deep here. This is extremely deep. For a lick extremely deep for a lick let's go i think you catch this guy at all times of the day as well i don't think there's a specific time that's better for him i think it's just all times of day by the look of it with the guy sat out here fishing but uh that's a nice to have a legendary where it's not like um tied to a time of day super super nice and i'm really really glad that it is a crab legendary let's take a look at the other legendaries while we wait for the bait i'm not going to be able to pronounce these but we've got the is that a sweet fish what even is that is that a sweet fish Oh, it's a large rain trout. What? Look, oh, he's got an eye missing. That's crazy. So this is a... Is it a rainbow trout, that? Oh, it's a legendary rainbow trout. That's crazy. So we've got the legendary rainbow trout. We've also got... That looks like a koi, is it? I'm going to get this wrong. Yeah, it's a golden koi. <laughs> Look at the fins on it. Look at the fins on it. So we've got a golden koi, rainbow trout, and a crab. I'm happy with them. I was hoping we were going to end up getting a day, you know, but maybe next time. Small legendary is what we want. I know we've got small legendary as a crab, but a dace would have been beautiful. But anyway, back to the fishing. I've been sat here for like 15 minutes now, we are, but I've decided to start casting a little bit closer. We're casting a bit far out, so I've decided to start casting a little bit closer. I might change the baits over as well and try, because um, it does say that it does like um, bloodworm, redworm, leeches, liver, minnow, hot dog. So I might switch on to redworm and see if it's just the time of day, because sometimes I do notice at the time of day um, different fish bite. The, the fish bite different baits at different times of day. So I might try and just switch the bait over. At the minute, I joined a mid, uh, midday server, so it's like 1400 at the minute, and I might just try redworms for a few minutes and just see if it makes a difference with the redworms. There we go. Could this be him? That could be him. That's just, I've just literally just switched the redworm. That's probably going to be him, is it not? Half tension. I'm not too sure what else would take red worms down here. Oh, this could be him. Let's go. I hope it is. So it was just a quick switch that. So if the baits aren't working, if this is him, in fact, if the baits... Are... Oh, it can't be him. Unless he takes line. Does he take line? There's no way a crab takes line, does he? <laughs> really? <laughs> a crab takes line. That's crazy. Yeah, if it is him. So just a quick switch of baits makes the difference. I do I do believe that different times of day means different baits. That can't be him realistically, can it? But of course it could. Of course it could. Ignore me. Yeah, so different time of day, different baits really. Let me just up that tension a bit. Let's get him ripped in. I had my tension set at 35. That no wonder he's taking line. But yeah, sorry, what I'm saying is, so I've, I've noticed when I've been catching fish before that certain times of day, the fish will like certain baits. So say, for instance, you're fishing for... Um, Oops. Say, for instance, we're fishing for uh, um, the day, certain times of day, they like different baits. Same with the, uh, la, 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 the fish that were hard to catch over on Golden Ridge carp suckers. They like this. The carp suckers like different baits at different times of day. So I'm hoping this is going to be the legendary. And if you are struggling, just get out there and try different baits, but stick to the baits that are on there. So I just stick between bloodworm, redworm, and leeches and just switch between them. I've literally first cast after switching from the bloodworm to the redworm. 
and I've got something on that looks to be of a decent size down in the deepest part at the right location. So I'm hoping it is going to be him. Come on, buddy, get your head up. I can't wait to see this guy. I can't wait to see what they're doing with your legendary crab. I cannot wait. It's got to be him, really. It's got to be him. Come on. Come on there. 26, 25 foot, 25 foot out. It's got to be him. Let me see him. Can I see him in the water first? What else would be taking line like this down here? There's nothing, in fact. I don't think there's anything that could be taking line like this. Well, well giving me tension, sorry, like this. It is him. Look at him. Let's go. Let's go. What is a mammoth? Go to the immortal legendary. 11.02 pounds. 2.12 feet long. 48 degrees Fahrenheit on a red worm. Two minutes, three seconds to reel in. That's majestic. That's majestic. Let's go. Oh, I'm super chuffed with that. Oh, wow. That's beautiful, no? Nice, guys. If you are wondering where we found this legendary, reference the starter outpost on um, the Japan map. And if you come top left of the map, you'll come up to this lake here. Um, outpost is called Para Pararaki Strings, or there is the Katan um, point of interest to the left-hand side. And we just come out into this deep part of the lake there. And once again, listen, cycle through the um bits i spent a lot of time on bloodworm at the start of this video obviously you won't know that because it was off recording but through the recording i spent a lot of time on bloodworm with nothing i switched straight over to red worm first cast i got him now i'm not saying that that works but when i've tested it and i've been catching a lot of fish on this game fish like di the different bait and lure preferences at different times of day in my opinion but anyway i hope you enjoyed that video if you did consider subscribing to the channel during our Discord links in the description. Weekend League is going to be making a comeback, guys, in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to put a little teaser, some teaser trailers out when and if it does make a comeback in the next couple of weeks. But anyway, join our Discord for that. Like and subscribe to keep up to date with it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and I'll catch you all very shortly in a very nice stream. Peace.